All right, guys, how the heck are ya? Uh, today is another video, and uh, obviously. So, so a video I did a little while back was in regards to what would be a good Jeep replacement. So I talked about the first gen Ford Raptor, and I also talked about um, like an SRT8 WK, as well as like, um, just another sort of Hemi WK. I have the 4.7 right now. Um, and those two are the more realistic. Obviously the uh, first gen Ford Raptor is still, uh, honestly just out of the price range unless I were to consolidate my two cars and have just one. Uh, then I would probably get like a first gen Ford Raptor and drive that thing around all day But I want to tell you about uh, another Jeep that um, Only that really the Jeep people will hopefully appreciate and before um, You comment or say anything I want to tell I want you to comment below and tell me what you think about the Jeep commander <laughs> talking about today we're gonna have some serious Jeep talk but I want to get your thoughts your uh, opinion before you hear anything about what I have to say good or bad you can say it's junk you don't know what it is it's ugly it's big whatever you know whatever you guys have to say about it um, I want you to comment below that'd be kind of fun to see people's opinions before you know like I share mine so today is gonna be sort of a little uh, video on the Jeep commander well, after you guys got your thoughts um, in order, you commented below, hopefully you did. I gave you a few seconds to do that and I almost drove and uh, these people don't have a stop sign, so that's kind of crazy. So the Jeep Commander, what's interesting about the Jeep Commander is it was made, I think pretty much during the same years as my WK. So I have an 05 um, WK. So the WK was made during the same time as the Jeep Commander and and it was made with uh, very similar parts it's a very similar chassis like everything about it is sort of the WK um, sort of the heart the insides the same engine same transmission the wheels were almost identical I mean they are um, and actually that is the one that I wanted over my current Jeep Grand Cherokee but um, at the time I really wanted like a $5,000 car and the commanders were more expensive than that kind of in general just because they're you know they're more capable uh, they're more fully loaded they're bigger they have a third row seat um, they're sort of like the premium um, Jeep you know the Grand Cherokee Limited or Overland is sort of the premium Jeep but the commander was even a step above that which I remember when it came out um, it was actually really cool you know it was big it was long it could have three rows of seats which like I think no Jeep historically has had um, and that's kind of when the three row SUVs like 2005 through like 2010 or whatever that's when sort of the era of uh, the three row big SUVs were a big thing. Now it's like crossovers and trucks. You either have a crossover, a truck, or a car. People don't seem to care about sort of the third row anymore. They either want it or they don't. Um, and that's kind of wh why I like the Ford Excursion. I kind of wanted one of those at the time too, but that's another video. I really liked those diesel excursions. Those things were so badass. The Jeep Commanders have come down in price, and I, I remember um, the, the great thing about them is that they, they're pretty rare. I mean, you don't really see a lot of Commanders, but they're sort of like, I, I almost want to say, you know, like an X5 competitor. Um, you know, they're premium. I know it's Chrysler, and I know it's so much cheaper than an X5, like, on any day, no matter what, you know, ever. Um, but yet, I still think it's sort of in the same realm. You know, if you have a budget, you want, you know, four-wheel drive, quadra drive two, which this thing has, and a lot of the newer ones still have. And of course, I'm going over freaking speed bumps. I'm trying to film a video, and I choose to drive over speed bumps. That's really smart, Brandon, thanks. Um, I've never even been down here. I was trying to look for a, a way to go that wasn't crazy. 
uh, traffic and distractions like it was earlier, but um, looks like I kind of failed at that. The only thing about it is uh, you sort of, it's, it's kind of ugly from the back. So if you look at a picture of the back of it, it's sort of like they made it kind of cool looking, um, but they also sort of, I don't know how to describe it. It's just very square and it's sort of, it's way too plain. So that's kind of why the Commander sort of did not age well where the Grand Cherokee did. Um, in my opinion, I think that this Grand Cherokee aged extremely well. Um, and uh, that's part of the reason, you know, why I like it so much. The, the Jeep Commander, it's, um, I think it's badass. Like, honestly, if I... If I, if I was in a bind and I really, like this car got totaled or whatever, or the Jeep got totaled, I mean, as much as I would want a Ford Raptor or a pickup truck in general, I think that like a Jeep Commander would be pretty badass. Like I would definitely do like a four to six inch lift on it. I would do like a light bar and I'd do some nice wheels. I mean, that's really all those things need to look extremely badass. I mean, doing other stuff um, like skid plates and bumpers and, a winch and all that like all those expensive things are really sweet um, I do want to do like a light bar kind of under the bumper on my Jeep um, I don't think they're that expensive and I have a little area that I can put a switch um, and that would be really sweet you know if instead of the brights which the brights are fine but um, it'd be sweet you know the look just to have it sort of the subtle modifications that this Jeep has uh, that I really like it's so funny I can't believe I like forgot about you know the Jeep Commander because um, and, and what's cool about it is those guys that are here for the Jeep especially my my current Jeep um, which at any moment could be a different vehicle I suppose I can you know if I make a decision and I want to change it up or whatever I want something different I can do that but um, going from this to a commander I feel like a lot of people would relate because it's a lot of the same parts the interior is similar it just it's a similar vehicle obviously as I've already mentioned um, and what's also great is it's great for winter time it's capable it as a V8 um, I believe I can only assume that they come in a Hemi as well but I'm not really sure um, I know that the Jeep Grand Cherokee or it had the six cylinder it had the 4.7 and then it had the five liter uh, so I think 5.2 and then there's the SRT8 version which is obviously a whole nother animal but um, yeah I thought that that was kind of crazy that I forgot to talk about the commander which I think everyone I think a lot of the guys that like this car like the commander as well so um, that's something I was sort of thinking about on this really bright sunny day here in Columbus um, I'm so like this is the point in the winter time when so it was 50 degrees like one or two days randomly and then now it's back down to 30, 15 to 30 today's 32 thank god um, but like oh my god it's like I can't drive the M3 because it's gonna snow and then there's salt everywhere and there's shit everywhere and it's just like it's it's just it's awful like it's just it starts to get to a point where like it, it's just it's torturous um to you know just let let that car sit for so long um good news guys if you're still sticking around and you like the m3 um i probably will be taking it to the tail of the dragon again in 2018 beating the complete shit out of it which is how i felt last time um it's so funny like my friend chris and i so he's the one with the uh gt350 that we rode together to tail of the dragon um and he is the uh oh man what's that color called it's the gray that they don't uh they don't make i don't think they make it anymore but it's that light nardo type of gray and uh man it's with white stripes it's such a great spec but i think we're going to be convoying there as well as uh, a bunch of guys from this area and pa so my buddy luke with the e39 m5 the avis blue one which i love so much uh he's going to be going there's going to be at least one porsche i'm sure total there's going to be more than one uh, but there's one that's going to be convoying with us so it's going to be I'm actually like a little concerned because it's going to be like logistics of getting the guys up and out and groups of people I and mean, we're going to have to split up and it's going to be a lot. It's going to be, I anticipate probably that Smokies trip that I went on last year. If, if any of you guys remember, I'm sure a lot of you weren't around on the channel. Maybe I'll try to insert a few clips.
All right, guys, made it to Fontana Village. Doing a little wipe down here, letting the engine cool down. This guy is the same idea. Letting her cool down. I don't know why. It's not like we're going driving on here, but but um, it was really fun because uh, Matt Mormon and I switched cars. He drove my M3 because he used to have one, and I drove his GT350, which has headers and a tune and intake and all kinds of other stuff done to it, exhaust. Uh, so we switched cars and drove it. Like if you're if you're like driving a car, driving, driving, like what it's made to do, which is really what's the coolest part of that trip is like as much as you feel like you're beating the crap out of the car like I feel bad because on a given day I'm only like a, a seven on like on average you know driving the car to a seven because uh, it has a good life it's always clean I take care of it you know I, I redline it and do you know some hood rat shit every once in a while but for the most part I'm really not actually doing anything that's really bad for you there's just a few things that are gonna wear Oh, there's a Jeep Commander right there. And see, the thing is, like, those stock look shittier than the Grand Cherokee stock, I think. So, like, those are way more desperate to get wheels and mods and lift on it as uh, Grand Cherokee. But um, totally random video, totally rambling all around. But I wanted to check in with you guys, like I mentioned. Um, in the wintertime, it's harder to make videos. It's harder to detail. Check out the video of me sort of uh, waterless washing and using detail spray on my M3. Um, I have Expel on it, but not the whole thing. So I'll show you. I showed you my process of kind of what I do for the rear when I took it out when it was dry that one winter day. And hopefully that was interesting to you guys. And uh, there's going to be some more, definitely more detailing as it gets warmer. And I'm going to be incorporating a lot more um, whenever humanly possible. So thank you guys so much for watching. I know that like this video is not necessarily very entertaining per se like I'm not doing stuff I'm not going off roading uh, but I know that I've seen comments about guys wanting me to do donuts and stuff in the Jeep and there's no snow I can't do it I can't do anything I, I just like squeal the tires and feel like I'm gonna flip over if uh, if I do anything like that in the Jeep so um, and as far as next mods I don't I don't really know like I really want to do wheels but then I know I'm gonna do a tune in the M3 really soon especially when I'm driving and I really want to get that engine light out so that's gonna be and then I just dropped 500 bucks on uh, the Jeep for the freaking power steering, which has been a complete fiasco, but it's fixed. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'm gonna get some basic bitch Starbucks action going uh, right behind the basic rental C3, C300 uh, basic four cylinder turbo vehicle. So anyways, thanks again for watching. Subscribe below, like the video, I appreciate it. And I'll see you guys next time. By the way, do you guys like putting in like the GoPro sort of road action when I do vlogs like this? Because I feel like it gives you something to look at, something extra going on. So let me know about that. It is extra work. It's extra editing and cutting the clips to make them sort of match is a huge pain in the ass, I will be honest with you. Um, I know, you know, I'm complaining, yada, yada, and I choose to make the videos. But um, I think that it adds a little spice to the video, makes it more interesting. So let me know what you think because I will appreciate that. If you guys appreciate it, I'll keep doing it.